Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You guys asked for it, so here we are. We are going to do this bad boy right here. That's right, a toy hauler. It's the Raptor 413. Absolutely beautiful camper and fantastic floor plan. Like, I really, really like this. If I was going toy hauler, I'd have to buy some toys, but it would definitely be something like this because it's really, really sharp. So let's get some of the main details out of the way first. So the camper does weigh 15,126 pounds. So it is a heavy camper. It's a tri-axle camper. So you're gonna need a heavy duty, like one ton truck to pull this bad boy, okay? Length is 43 feet, six inches. You guys ask that a lot. And now let's go take a look at some of the stuff up here at the front. You do have a pass-through storage at the front. This panel is off, but I'll show you why we're here. That does give you access to a backup in case your in-command system isn't working. And we'll talk a little bit about the in-command system once we get inside. Not a whole lot to show up here at the front, other than it is generator equipped. Not only is it prepped, but it is equipped. You've got your propane. As you see on the outside, it is the updated body style look and feel. Really, really sharp blacks and grays, uh, frameless windows. You have a massive electric awning right up here at the front that does have LED lights. So you're gonna have plenty of shade up here. But that's not the only place you have shade in this. Before we go in, I did forget to point out that they are right below. It does have outdoor speakers right there. Solid steps. I talk about these all the time. Love them. If you're a pet owner, they're fantastic. If you've got bad hips, bad knees, bad feet, they're great, especially with the little grab bar. It makes it so much easier to get in and out. So we're going to start up here in the bedroom. On either side, yeah, Greer, where's our light at? There we go. Bring a little light on the subject, right? So on either side of the bed, we do have nightstands. Whoever gets this side of the bed gets the primo nightstand. Because not only do you have more space, but you also have a cabinet to hide your snacks and stuff down below. You also have, on both sides, um, I thought that was the pop-up one. Those are wireless charging ports. So you just smack your phone down there. If you have a wireless phone, um, charge your phone. Awesome. AC back here in the bedroom. You have large closet space as well as storage underneath the bed. And then you also have a TV here in your bedroom. So you can kick back, close the door, get away from the family, hide out, watch some TV in the bedroom. Bathroom. We have a pass-through bathroom as you see. Nice sized bathroom. They've done some really cool details. Like I like this chiseling or whatever they have around the sink, looks really nice. You've got storage below the sink. You do have a nice big medicine cabinet and then a sit down shower, which if you guys follow our videos, you know, I'm a big fan of the sit down showers. You also have some storage here for your, like your toiletries, towels and stuff, as well as some additional storage behind the toilet. Now, before we go any further, a lot of people ask, where is the toilet paper holder? And some units have it, some don't. What? my wife and I have done in the past when we've had a camper that didn't have it is we get one of those freestanding toilet paper holders and we just stick it back in the corner somewhere. So easy problem solved. I don't know if you, I guess toilet paper really doesn't weigh that much. You could probably fasten a thing in there, but we just always go to the freestanding. So let's go down before we go any further. I alluded to the in command system out there. So the in command is Keystone's, I would say newest thing, but it's really not. It's been out for a couple of years now. Let me close this door behind me. So basically this is the hub for your camper. And uh, we just did a tip Tuesday on this a couple of weeks ago. So if you want more details, you can go back and watch that. Basically this allows you to control everything with your camper at a touch of a button right here. So you can set your heat, you can turn your awnings or roll your awnings in and out. You can bring your slides in and out. So if you're by yourself, you could always go out. Let me rephrase that. It also works with your phone so you can connect your phone to it. So then if you wanted to go outside, you could run your awnings out using your phone. You could run your slides out. A lot of control here to show you your black tank fullness, your gray tank fullness. What I was showing you outside is, so let's say the screen went black for some reason. 
Well, you have your phone as a backup if you have your phone connected to it. But let's say you don't have a phone or it's not connected. You have manual controls under there. So you're not going to get stuck at a campground or something if one of your slides didn't go in or your awning. You don't want to be like in the show RV when he's driving out of the campground with his awning sticking out. So that's what the in-command system is. As we come out, now we're coming into the, to the living room. You have a L-shaped sofa here. This seat here has uh, recline, heat, massage, all that good stuff. You've got a place to sit back and chillax over here. That is directly in front of your entertainment area. So you've got a nice large TV. You have your Bluetooth sound bar or uh, Bluetooth stereo, inside speakers, and then you have those outside speakers. So this is really cool. You play your DVDs, CDs, all that. But you can also connect your phone to it via Bluetooth and you can play your music inside or outside uh, using your Bluetooth. Fireplace, guys, you know, I talk about these all the time. I'm a huge fan of those because they run on electric and electric only, so you're not using up any of your propane. If you would have been out camping and you would have got caught in this kind of weather that we're having here in Indiana, that thing's going to be awesome. We use it, my wife and I, uh, usually early season camping and then late season camping just to take the chill out of the air. So that's nice. It's also equip a central vac system. The great thing with central vac system, you don't have to bring those brooms, dustpans, sweepers, any of that stuff. You grab the hose, uh, plug it in, sweep your whole place, put the hose up when you're done. It will also stretch out to do your tow vehicle or your um, passenger storage, which is nice. Directly next to Greer, we have our theater seats. Now, those again recline, they have heat, massage, and they do have some pretty little lights that go underneath. So again, those are still centrally located to see the TV. And I just did a, a video earlier today with Chad and he brought up a good point that everything is still very conversational. Like you've got plenty of uh, line of sight to talk to each other as well as see the TV. Kitchen area. So the kitchen, we've got a lot of countertop space, prep space. We have a deep stainless steel sink with detachable sprayer. We have our stainless steel microwave that is residential sized. It's a very nice size. We have our three burner stainless steel stove. That was a lot of S's, stainless steel stove. Storage above there, and you have storage below your island. I guess this really is an island here. Oh, there's all your remotes. Um, and then back here, before we go into the garage, is a second access to the half bath. And we'll talk more about the half bath once we get into the garage. Before we go there, you do have additional storage up above here, as well as next to your residential size stainless steel refrigerator. So guys, this is a legit... Actually, I think it's bigger than the refrigerator I have in my house. Like, a lot bigger than the refrigerator I have in my house. No problem if you're boondocking, uh, staying out in the middle of nowhere, having plenty of food, unless you've got Greer with you. Also, Greer pointed out, thank you, you also have a bunk up here. Now, I hear a lot of people say, well, I'll never have anybody stay in the bunk. Well, that's fine. You can always use that for additional storage. You can put stuff up there, hide it away, um, or you can make your husband or wife sleep up there if they get on your nerves. Coming back into the main garage area, uh, again, point out that half bath. So you've got basically your necessities in there that make it a half bath. And what's really nice about that, a couple of things. If you have friends and stuff at your campsite, they wanna use your bathroom, they don't have to go up, traipse all through your camper. They can come in your second entry right here. Floor is easy to clean. They use this bathroom, this bathroom only. If you're one of the full-time people, or not even necessarily full-time, but one of those people that buy the toy haulers to use this as a kid's space instead of actually hauling toys, it's nice that the kiddos have their own bathroom. You do have washer dryer hookup ability out here. So like I said, if you're going boondocking or extended stay or even full-time stay, you've got everything. You've got your generator, you've got your washer and dryer, you've, you've got everything you need. Featured here in the garage, we have the couches down in their couch position. Those do fold into each other and this will make a bed area. You also have a bed up here, electric bed that will run down and so you could sleep one, two, three, four people back here comfortably, which is why I say a lot of people use this for kids rooms, like if you have a lot of kids um, or uh, full-time living. 
You also have speakers back here and you have a TV back here. So another thing to point out with the toy haulers is even if you're not using this to haul toys, it's additional living space. Like you can make this what you want. I can't tell you how many times that I'm cruising around through the campground and I see a family sitting out here and they're eating their dinner because you can pull these sliding glass doors closed and let the air in but keep the bugs out. So that makes it nice. You can still enjoy all the sights and smells of summertime in the campground without having to deal with the annoying bugs. Or you can have it wide open and just enjoy everything. In addition, there's still more space because your ramp also serves as a living space. As you'll see, we have an, an, another awning above us. We have lights that are aiming straight at me, but this is pet and kid friendly. These just fold in on themselves and close up when you put your ramp up. So you've added two additional living spaces when you buy a toy hauler. So something to consider when you're looking. This one does have a backup camera already. It's directly above Greer's head. And I want to show you a couple things on the other side real quick. There's that backup camera grip if you want to show them that. And kind of the last couple of things, you do have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof. That means you can get up there anytime you need to, clean it, maintain it, or maybe you want to get up there and look at something, but you have the ability to do it. And then you have your two 40 gallon, they're either 30 gallon or 40 gallon, I can't remember, but you have two of those right there. And then close behind here is your gas receptacle. So you can keep that locked and stuff so nobody's stealing your gas. So guys, there you have it. It's another walkthrough Wednesday. This was the Raptor 413. If you have any questions or you need more details about it, please just be sure to leave a comment down below. Have a great day and let's look forward to warmer weather soon.